Welcome to This Day, I'm Lisa Hart, and today is Monday, February 8th, and we thank you for watching. Now, we don't have any meetings to tell you about today, but on our program, instead of Jeff Parker today, we do have a GRF update with Bunny Carpenter and then a United update with Diane Casey. We will be interviewing Jeff on tomorrow's show. Now, uh, a little bit different today, we're gonna have Jeff on again tomorrow instead. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump to our COVID-19 resources for you. We have a hotline that you can call if you have any questions regarding the vaccination program. It is 949-594-2533. We ask that you do not call resident services. And if you have any questions, we do have an FAQ page on Laguna Woods Village Alerts. Com. Now, if you want to be vaccinated at Soka University or Disneyland, you could always go to the website to register, which is Othena.com. And for more information, OCCOVID19.OCHealthInfo.com. Now, let's take a look at our weather. It is looking quite nice this week. We just came off of a beautiful weekend. Today, we are looking at high 65 with an overnight 54. Tomorrow, 67, 54, partly sunny. Looking very nice on Wednesday with a few high clouds, 66.51. Pleasant on Thursday, 65.50. And then partly sunny on Friday, 68.49. Our sunrise this morning was at 6.41. And the sunset will be at 5.29. And this is one of those amazing photos that we got from last week. I tell you, the, the sunsets were unbelievable. So if you have an amazing photo that you would like to share with our community, please email it to lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. All right, when we return, we are going to have the GRF update. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Meridian at Laguna Hills, a newly multi-million dollar renovated community. Located in beautiful Southern Orange County, the Meridian at Laguna Hills blends quality senior care onto the bright canvas of Laguna Hills life. With a luxurious five-star resort style community and a dedication to resident care, you can experience an exquisite senior lifestyle unlike any other. Discover a community filled with care and their freedom to pursue what matters most. It's a new day and it's yours. Make the most of it at the Meridian at Laguna Hills. Now there's a new way to buy a new Lexus. It's called Car Dash, only available at SouthCountyLexus.com. It's amazingly simple. Visit SouthCountyLexus.com, select and reserve your new or pre-owned vehicle that comes with a five-day love it or leave it guarantee. Apply for credit, calculate your payment, and even appraise your trade-in. You can even have the vehicle delivered, all online, saving you valuable time. Push a button, get a Lexus. At South County Lexus, different is amazing. All great healthcare organizations care, but the best dare to reach higher. At Hogue, we lead with life-saving clinical trials and advanced therapies. Our world-renowned specialists innovate with state-of-the-art technologies like virtual reality and robotics. Hogue is the number one hospital in Orange County four years in a row. Now more than ever, your healthcare choices matter. Choose Hogue. Welcome back. Today I am joined by Bunny Carpenter on behalf of GRF. Well, hi, Bunny. It's been a while. Yes, it has, and thank you for inviting me. You're welcome, and you look lovely. Have you done something different to your hair? Do you want to know my secrets? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to tell me, you're going to be telling the whole village. <laughs> Oh, you can keep your secret, you. but you look lovely. I like your hair. Thank you, um, thank you. So, you know, you've got a couple different things to talk about on behalf of GRF. So I'm going to let you just jump right in. It looks like you want to start with bylaws. Yes, I do. So the, the biggest change in GRFs this last month is the GRF bylaws. And uh, this effort took almost a year. Mm. Uh, we had to collaborate with each board and the legal counsel. and um, with all the proposed changes. So <clears throat> this actually, excuse me, this actually started years ago, okay? 
And but this year we will we were able to start uh, with a presentation by uh, Jeff Bowman that discussed the trust and the meaning of the trust. And then we went forward with having an ad hoc committee to go over the changes for the GRF. And the main purpose was to make sure that we clarified 2.1.4. And if everyone wants to understand what that really is, it just means that any uh, projects that are over 500,000, not maintenance projects, but <clears throat> major projects over 500,000, the corporate members have to approve. Mm. So it actually has been a controversy between the boards and GRF for many years. Mm. And, and there always was a clash as far as the interpretation. Okay. So the boards, um, you know, were, were able to, oh, they even tried to do a resolution at mm. one time. I think that was a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the lawyers negotiated it. And they came up with a whole bunch of different, you know, definitions, and it fell flat on its face. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can tell you why it was very, very confusing and complex. Sure. So, so anyway, the biggest clash, you know, uh, this year that the residents can remember is a pack. Okay, mm -hmm. so all the changes and upgrades to the multi-million dollar pro project by interpreted, interpreted by the GRF lawyer at that time that did not require corporate and member approval because he classified it as a maintenance project. Mm. So the board members that fought for the PAC as a maintenance project ended up resigning from the GRF board. I see. Yes. <laughs> so, wow. so, and I think everybody knows what happened after that. I mean, we're still working on the project maintenance and construction is, yeah. and the, they've saved millions of dollars, you know, based upon this change. Mm -hmm. But the um, ad hoc committee, okay, was, was able to clarify the 2.1.4 to the satisfaction of all the boards. Right. And with the assistance of legal counsel, so that the boards are all on the same page going forward. Right. This deserves a big celebration. Absolutely. In my <laughs> you know, based on the information you're giving me, and over the last several years, man, to get all those people together to agree on something is quite a coup. Yes, but I think we fought over it long enough, you know, that we needed to come to some agreement among all the boards, you right. know. Right. So um, another important provision is that the GRF board uh, will now consist of three delegate directors, one from each mutual, and eight elected by the corporate members. And the reason for this it was a request by the corporate members because they wanted equal representation on GRF board. Sure. And in the past, you know, it was always the majority of third applicants, you know, and, and very, very few, you know, applicants from mutual 50, although GRF does have the pleasure of having one mutual 50 direct representative from mutual 50 at this point in time. Uh -huh. But anyway, if, uh, when a vacancy comes up, uh, then the board will select a, um, a representative, a delegate. And if they're not able to choose a, de a delegate or find someone that wants to run, then the corporate members will step in and they will fill that vacancy. Um, I think it's going to work out very well. You know, I was dubious at first, but I think it's really going to work out very well. Good. So, um, and I think at this next election, uh, we have one united person that's coming off the board, and it will probably be a united delegate that will be chosen. Yeah. Okay. Well, that all sounds fair. Yes. Yes, we re we want equal representation. We've always wanted equal representation, but it just really depends on the people that are willing to run. 
Exactly. Exactly. So one of the provisions that I'm really excited about is is the uh, committees. So in the past GRF bylaws, a director from GRF was not able to be part of a committee that was headed by another mutual, a mutual. Okay, and um, and so we changed all that. We we have standing committees as usual, but when it comes to other committees like ad hoc advisory study, you know, whatever you want to call them, you know, there's that flexibility and it's really, you know, advised by the chair of that particular committee and it's then it's approved by the board. But mm -hmm. this flexibility changes a lot of things. I, I know the community has seen a lot of ad hoc committees, you know, by United and and third and so we're working together and that has that has been an effort that we wanted to do you know so that our boards are working together well stream streamlining your processes is is a great idea too and then like you said if it's across the board then you have some sort of standardization yes you know grf has always had a mutual representation okay but but what this does is it doesn't limit it to only two people from each board. You can have many more representatives on on a uh, you know an ad hoc committee. Mm -hmm. It's all those who are interested, basically. Not too many, but you know it's and and a perfect example of that is uh, uh, we have an ad hoc committee. Uh, the insurance ad hoc committee that Sue Margolis is reading, um, um, reading and uh, the software that she started that e eventually when we come to a conclusion is what kind of software that we want to incorporate, uh -huh. you know, GRF and the software committee will work together, you know, to get that implemented. Right. Okay. So the other thing that I think is really important for the residents to know is um, that we signed, uh, we bound, uh, that's the right word, we bound a $5 million insurance policy okay. for cyber insurance. Wow. And, yes. And this $5 million insurance co uh, coverage should cover us for at least two events. And I think everybody knows the trend. I mean, we've been reading a lot about it, you know, in the paper. Lately, it isn't just you know here; it's um, all over the United States, and um, so I just want everybody to rest assured we are covered now. <laughs> the yeah. other, yes, go on. <laughs> oh, it's just—it's a shame that we have to think that way because uh, we don't want to think that way. But in all honesty, like you're saying, we have no choice. I mean, we've had an incident, and like you said, other cities have had incidences, and and corporations. These hackers are getting good. You know, they're always going to be one step up, you know, ahead of us. We we know that. We just have to be really prepared right. in every way that we possibly can. And I, and I really have to tell you that that uh, staff and uh, has really made an effort to to let the boards know just exactly what they were doing. Mm -hmm. um, the experts that they called in, you know, to help, um, you know, get us up again. Mm -hmm. And we really have to compliment and compliment them on what they've done, you know, to resolve this problem. I mean, everybody was inconvenienced for quite some time. Um, I don't think we'll be done with this until the end of February, you know, to get everything the way it should be. Right. But, um, but they did an excellent job. Oh yeah, uh, I really have to say that. Yeah, well, I mean, we're we're very thrilled with having accessibility again to our files, and you know, it's great. Not all was lost. At least we we got most of it back, and that that is really key for the majority of us because if we had to re-enter all that information, that would not be easy. No, fifty years. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> fifty well, years of resolution here. <laughs> Be awful. It was hard. Yeah, it was hard enough that when when they made that transition, you know, from PCM to to uh, VMS, let me tell you, just to 
find the resolutions at that point in time. Well, how are we supposed to proceed here? <laughs> yeah, no, that would be that would be tough for sure. Absolutely. So, so um, I don't know, Alisa. Do you have any more questions for me? Any well, questions? Yes, I, for yeah, I do because you know big things have been happening here in the village uh, regarding vaccination. It's been great. Oh, I, I, you know, I was so proud that GRF could be a part of that. Um, we basically signed the agreement, you know, so that uh, Memorial Care uh, could come to our village and, and provide these vaccinations. Yeah. You know, I can, I can gloat, you know, about this with my friends that live in other villages, you know, uh -huh. other 55 plus communities that did not have the privilege, you know of being able to be there. Um, I can tell you that Jeff is, uh, the last time I talked to him, Jeff Parker basically said that he was working on a program uh, so so that um, they could pick up these people uh, in the village or at least go to their home, the ones that are uh, not able to, you know, come to Clubhouse 7. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he's also working on a portal. Yep. And it hasn't been established yet, but a lot of people think, oh, wow, I got to, you know, it's supposed to be established and I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. It's not established yet, but they're working on it. And, uh, and uh, communications will everybody let everybody know when they will be able to uh, access that portal and find out what their, res what their appointment is. Yes, the portal will be wonderful. And you know, that does have a lot of parts to it in terms of, you know, it has to, it has to go to the resident, it has to go, there's a lot of different places it needs to draw from. And that's not an easy software situation. So I'm, I'm happy they are working on it, like you said, and we should have it soon. Uh, it just like you said, these things take time. So everybody be patient. As we have told them many, many times, we have to be very patient, just like we've been patient with the actual virus we now have to be patient with the actual vaccine so but all is good we've administered so many so so thank you for your part in that and 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 everybody's part in it. it's it's really wonderful to have here for the village okay thank you so much we'll be bye. right back after this bye At Diane's Hallmark, we're ready for Valentine's Day. Are you? Come in and see our great selection of cards and gifts. We have everything you need to show that special someone how much you care. And don't forget those grandkids either. Diane's Hallmark has many cards and gifts for them as well. Diane's Hallmark is located in the Marketplace Center, right next to Hobby Lobby. We have something for everyone. Come in today and take care of all your Valentine's Day needs. At Pro Smiles OC, you get Orange County's best and most experienced dentist. Dr. Ivan Ho is an award-winning cosmetic and implant dentist that has been treating patients in South OC and Laguna Woods for over 30 years. Safety and cleanliness is our number one priority, and now your routine dental work is more comfortable than ever. We use digital x-rays to minimize radiation and digital scans for crowns and inlays in-house, allowing patients to leave with final restorations in the same appointment. Let Dr. Ho and his team give you a reason to smile. Call Pro Smiles OC today. Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by a new United member, Diane Casey. Well, Diane, so nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> well, you know, this is probably the first of many appearances on behalf of United. I mean, Sue will be the first to tell you that she goes on all the time, and I think she might be happy to pass it on to somebody else. <laughs> I know. I saw my name on the schedule for, I think, in March. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, we, you know, we, we, book, we moved you up a little, so all good, all good. <laughs> so tell me just a little bit about yourself and how long you've lived in the village. Okay, I'm in my 16th year of living in Laguna Woods. I moved, well, I moved in here, I bought my place in 2003, but did that renovation and moved in in uh, 2004. <laughs> oh, okay, and, nice. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I love it here. I live um, by between gate two and three, so it's a great place to go walking. 
And That's now, during this COVID time, there are a lot of people walking, which is so nice. I hope it continues. Well, yeah, you know, what else are you going to do, right? I mean, I think the, the good thing is that people are getting out and about and, and, you know, you can wave hi to your neighbor, even though you're far apart. So yeah, yeah. COVID has uh, certainly challenged us in a lot of different ways, I'm sure. Now, 16 to. years, is this your first time being on a committee or being in a, in a, in a board? No, in the past, I have... Uh, tried to um, run for the board, um, you know, because, you know, I was invited, you know, by, uh, uh, you know, a neighbor or um, some other people that wanted me to do it. So I didn't get on either time. Uh, so, but they did invite me to be a member at large in the GRF um, finance and uh, to sit on the board. And uh, so that was that was nice. I, I didn't get to do it too long, but it was it was fun to do. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, at least you have some experience. And I know you said you've already been to a couple of United meetings. So, you know, the lay of the land and, and what's going on. And the fact that you've been here 16 years, you know, is yeah. awesome because then, you know, a lot of the things that are going on already. Plus, yes. you can help project your own input as to what you feel would be best for your neighbors and yourself. So, so that's great. Um, let's talk yeah. about that. What are some of the things you're looking forward to uh, help change or to invent? Well, I am interested in, you know, learning about how they do their finances so that I can offer my input. I'm a CPA ah. and uh, I have been on HOAs in the past and, uh, you know, so I can, you know, help with budgeting, I can help with uh, reviewing the financials and, uh, you know, uh, giving my synopsis of what I think and uh, also investigating different things. So, uh, you know, I'm excited about that. I like the finance committee that's, um, you know, run by a, or, or the committee leader is Azar and she's very knowledgeable and it's it's been very nice to meet with her. She's given me a, a background so that I know how it works. And uh, so I, I haven't been that involved since BMS took over. Uh, so, you know, to learn about that will be important. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, yeah. That's, and I hear the little kids in the background. Today's your babysitting day. Yes, it is. Right. <laughs> so I figured that's I could. <laughs> I figured I could get my grandson to watch my little one for. Uh, oh, no, how funny. Well, we'll make this, we'll make this quick because who knows what's happening in the other room. <laughs> I know, you don't know. He's two, he's two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, as long as there's no crying, we're in good shape. <laughs> yeah, true, right, that's right. <laughs> well, let me ask you one last thing before I let you go. What is? What do you love about living in the village? The activities, uh, the people all, are all very friendly. I really miss the dances and uh, swimming. I mean, I know I could go swimming, but I just haven't tried that yet. Um, and, and the golf, and I also have a garden, I, a garden plot, and I enjoy that. I've been doing that for 15 years. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I have an RV, and so I, I've belonged to the RV club in the past, and good. Yeah, we, so we I know there's some, and they were, they were so nice, uh, and it looks like you guys will have a great I mean, boy, what a coming out party it's all going to be when we are able to do so much stuff. I mean, all the, you guys get your RVs and just go and have a good time. <laughs> I know. I know. I've made a couple little trips, but uh, it would be nice when there you know, aren't so many restrictions. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for your time and also for volunteering your time on the United Board. And like I said, I'm sure we'll be hearing from you again. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Diane. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this. For the sweaty faces and the hidden smiles, the foggy glasses and the sore ears, the determined looks and the muffled laughs, a simple piece of fabric makes a big statement. I care. Let's all do our part to slow the spread. Wear a mask. Learn more at covid19.ca.gov.
back. Our Monday movie is one of my favorites. It's called The Help, and it's just a great movie. And you can see that today at 2 p.m. with subtitles and 7 p.m. without subtitles, and that is brought to you by Kaiser Permanente. So take a look at that today. You'll really enjoy it. Also today, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., there is an Alzheimer's of Orange County event, and it is running from 10 to 11. And to register, you do need to get in touch with sunshinelute at gmail.com. And you can also call her at 278-6454. So very fun. And then one last thing real quick is that we have 50 new golf carts for our golfers. Very fancy club car tempo lithium golf carts which do serve what a great purpose, a lithium battery system, they're lighter and less wear and tear on the golf course. And if you want more information about those or to make a reservation, call 949-597-4336. Let's take a look at our weather one last time. It's looking quite lovely this week. Doesn't look like we're having any rain anytime soon, so we are looking at the highs just in the high 60s right now this week, 65.54, 67.54, Wednesday 66.51, Thursday 65.50, and into the weekend we're looking at 68.49. We'll have a great day today. We'll see you again here tomorrow at 9 a.m. You can always watch us at 12.30 and 5 for our repeats today. Have a great Monday. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Welcome to Harvard Eye Associates. We're focused on your eye care at all three of our Orange County locations. Our new location in Laguna Hills, Orange, and San Clemente. Each facility features the latest in advanced technology and diagnostic equipment. And a trusted collection of doctors that care about your vision and your quality of life. We deliver what matters to you and your family. Harvard Eye Associates, the future of vision today. Hi, I'm Chris Mack, the new president of the Old Pros. We put on some stunning productions and have so much fun doing it. We'd love for you to come and join us if you have any experience in theater. Go to our website, ocoldpros.org, or the main Laguna Woods site. Get our application, send it in. We'd love to have you. COVID-19 has us all practicing social distancing, but in times like this, it's just as necessary to remember the importance of maintaining good dental health. Good dental health can help improve your body's immune system to fight deadly diseases, from respiratory infections to heart disease and diabetes. Our general dentists and specialists are committed to helping you stay healthy. Located right next to Laguna Woods with a bus stop right in front, we are open to see you for emergency cases. Call today for an appointment, 949-830-0074.